brushing your hand through these lights was kind of like um, a wind chime, except instead of hearing like tinkling, you see twinkling. We've likened it to like fireflies or um, just like stars, twinkling stars. It's almost like when you draw your hand through like the phosphorescent algae. It's like um, it's Christmas lights with magnet switches. Yeah, yeah, but it just looks it looks a lot more complex. You know, wood, magnets, LEDs, and one power supply. Yeah, people have come up to us and asked if like, oh, we use capacitance or they like microcontrollers. <laughs> no, we're like, nope. There's magnets interspersed between the lights, and they um, they trigger magnetically actuated switches. One, yeah, one one big thing that Kieran loves to say is um, he wants his projects to be honest. It's really just very simple materials, a very simple construction method. It just is what it is, and from that, you're still able to come out come out with a, what we think is a pretty cool experience. All right, so we started off. Exploratory in class, right? So last fall we all took this class called Design for Exploration. Um, and it was a class that was taught half at the Exploratorium and half at Stanford. I think a really cool part of class was when we took our prototypes out into the, the, ex the exhibit floor for the first time. Absolutely. These kids were having like a great time. They were like smiling and like breaking stuff, of course, and that kind of freaked us out, but you know, whatever. You <laughs> We did a lot of our work over winter break, three weeks apart, and we'd set up a schedule and we'd like get on Skype or iChat and upload photos of our drawings to Flickr and like meet every day, refine our drawings, like brainstorm and draw. It actually came about just like drawing fun things that we wanted to experience in yes. like. So so like, I, I sketched this thing out and, you know, we were all like. Yeah, that's cool, but like, <laughs> what? how in the hell is that going to happen? We're nomadic, not by choice. So we worked in all of our dorm lounges, in each other's rooms, in the shop, in the wood shop, in the courtyard. Like, we could only make what we could pack up and take with us because we had nowhere to keep it besides our closets. That's like why we did this project in the first place, was to explore collaboration on a large scale. We kept each other accountable. Yeah. But, you know, I think more than that was like, work together, like learn from each other, learn new skills, take on a bigger project than we could have otherwise. Make something huge, like synergistically, and, and not be lonely while we're making it. 